If you've ever visited Greenville, Maine, via Route 15 heading north, then you've likely motored right through the completely gorgeous town of Monson. Now, we need to talk about pronunciation. Let me head you right off at the pass if you are even remotely tempted to pronounce this gorgeous, special little town, Munson. Don't do it. It's not Munson. Trust me on this one. It is Monson. Now, Monson is to Piscataquis County what Korea Harbor, Maine is to Hancock County. An adorable New England village with old names and fresh paint. What Korea has in coastline, Monson has in ponds. My goodness, there is Lake Hebron, Monson Pond, Speckled Ponds, Bell Pond, Pad of Lily Pond, Doughty Pond, Doe Pond, 18th Pond, Pond, Squonkin Pond, South Pond, Meadow Pond, and Moores Pond. Monson was founded on February 8, 1822. It was named after Monson, Massachusetts, and there are about 609 people living here. Did you know that the first church building built between Bangor and the Canadian border was built right here in Monson in 1831? Plan a visit to the historic Society for more unique and interesting facts about Monson and the surrounding area. Did you know that the Appalachian Trail passes right through here? It does, and many a hiker stops in Monson for a break before the Hundred Mile Wilderness, a stretch of wilderness that is, well, about a hundred miles long. See what they did there? Monson sits about 139 miles away from Portland, 55 miles from Bangor, and it is 113 beautiful miles to Korea Harbor. 100 years ago, Monson was famous for its large-scale slate operations. Why, even the headstone of John F. Kennedy's grave in Arlington National Cemetery is made from Monson slate. Speaking of famous connections, Monson is also referred to in the book by Henry David Thoreau, The Maine Woods. Mr. Thoreau, a gifted writer and naturalist from Concord, Mass., refers to a set of moose antlers that gave direction. Did you know that he died at age 44? Now you know. Monson has its summer fest in July each summer, and there is everything from the slate race, kids games, dunk the town manager, community band, golf contest, a bounce tent, a banquet, and a must-see fireworks. With all the ponds, the Piscataquis River, and all the brooks like Witham Brook, Gladbrook, Hammond, Prescott, Davis, Monson Stream, Eighth Pond Brook, Lehman Brook, Peppermint Brook, Goodell, and many more, there's makings for great fishing, canoeing, and kayaking. You must get over here and dip your line in the water. And like any self-respecting main town, there is snowmobiling, which brings us to the Narrow Gauge Riders Snowmobile Club. Here's a group of dedicated citizens who maintain great trails in the area. I will have a link of their Facebook page down below in the description. And if you can spare them a few bucks, send them a donation to help support the equipment and all their endeavors. There are also endless ATV trails, and they even permit riding in town. Did you know that Monson was home of photographer Berenice Abbott and painter Carl Sprinkcorn, and that in 2018, Maine's Libra Foundation began an initiative to spur growth here by beginning the Monson Arts Program, which includes the purchase of 20 buildings for residences and studios.
Here's a question for you. Do you want to see more videos like this? Well then, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, and we'll see you on the next video. Man, thank you for watching.